hello everyone and welcome back guys to mathematical mindset so right here we have this nine math only paired radical problem so we have to solve for x right here in this question so the first thing guys we want to do is to simply divide both sides by the x root of 36 okay so doing that we have this to be the x root of 36 divides the x root of 36 plus the x root of 24 divide the x root of 36 is equal to the x root of 16 divide the x root of 36. So doing this right here, we have that this is going to cancel out this. So we have 1 plus the x root of 24 divide the x root of 36 is equal to the x root of 16 divide the x root of 36. But we know that the root of a divide the root of b is equal to the square root of a over b, right? So applying this, we have this to be 1 plus the x root of 24 over 36 is equal to the x root of 16 over 36. 1 plus the x root of, now 24 can be expressed as 12 multiplied to and 36 can be expressed as 12 multiplied 3 is equal to the x root of 16 can be expressed as 4 multiplied 4 and 36 can be expressed as 4 multiplied 9. So from here, we have this to be 1 plus the x root of, now 12 is going to cancel out 12, so we have 2 over 3 is equal to the x root of 4 is going to cancel out 4, so we have this to be 4 over 9. So we have 1 plus the x root of 2 over 3 is equal to the x root of 4 can be expressed as 3 raised to the power of 2 and 9 can be expressed as 3 raised to the power of 2. So from here we have 1 plus the x root of 2 over 3 is equal to the x root of 2 over 3 or square. But if we have the nth root of a, this can be expressed as a raised to the power of 1 over n, right? So applying this property, we have this to be 1 plus, we have this to be 2 over 3 or raised to the power of 1 over x. And this is equal to, we have this to be 2 over 3 or raised to the power of 2. And this is or raised to the power of 1 over x. So applying this property that says if we have a raised to the power of m or raised to the power of n, this is the same thing as a raised to the power of n or raised to the power of m. So applying this property right here, we have this to be 1 plus 2 over 3 or raised to the power of 1 over x is equals to 2 over 3 or raised to the power of 1 over x and this is always to the power of 2. So we have this right here. So at this point, we want to simply say let 2 over 3 or raised to the power of 1 over x be equals to m. So hence, we have this equation to be 1 plus m is equal to m squared. So we are arranging this and setting the equation to 0. We have this to be m squared minus m minus 1 and this is equals to 0. So we want to simply solve using the quadratic formula. So solving using the quadratic formula and we have the quadratic formula to be m is equals to minus b plus minus the square root of b square minus 4ac divides 2a and we have a is equals to 1 b is equals to minus 1 and c is equals to minus 1 so we have m is equals to minus into minus 1 plus minus the square root of minus 1 or square multiply 4 multiply a which is 1 multiply c which is minus 1 divide 2 multiply a which is 1 so from here we have that m is equals to minus times minus is plus so this become 1 plus minus the square root of minus 1 square is 1 minus 4 multiply 1 multiply negative 1 is going to give us plus 4 divide 2 multiply 1 is 2 so at this point we have that m is equal to 1 plus minus now we have this to be the root of 1 plus 4 is 5 divide 2 so m is equals to 1 plus the root of 5 over 2 or m is equals to 1 minus the root of 5 over 2. So from this two equation we find out that this is less than 0 hence we can say that this equation is rejected. So we want to simply solve for this. But we want to simply recall let 2 over 3 always the power of x be equals to m. So we want to simply recall that right here. So recall that we say let 2 over 3 raised the power of 1 over x be equals to m. And we have m to be this. So hence we have 
2 over 3 over to the power of 1 over x. This is equal to 1 plus the root of 5 over 2. So the next thing we want to do is to simply take the log of both sides. So taking the log of both sides, we have this to be the log of 2 over 3 over to the power of 1 over x is equal to the log of 1 plus the root of 5 divided 2. So applying this property that says if we have log a raised to the power of b, this is equal to b log a. So applying this, we have this to be 1 over x multiplied log 2 over 3. This is equal to log, we have this to be 1 plus the root of 5 over 2. So applying this property that says that if we have log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. Right, so applying this property, we have 1 over x multiply log 2 minus log 3. This is equal to log 1 plus the root of 5 minus log 2. So we have this right here. So at this point, we want to simply divide both sides by log 2 minus log 3. And we're going to divide this by log 2 minus log 3. So doing this, this is going to cancel out this. So we have this to be 1 over x is equal to log into 1 plus the root of 5 minus log 2. Divide log 2 minus log 3. So taking the inverse of this right here. So if we take the inverse of this and also take the inverse of this, we have this to be x is equal to log 2 minus log 3 divide from here we have log 1 plus the root of 5 minus log 2 so from here we have that now if we solve this using a calculator we have that log 2 is giving us 0 0.3010 log 3 is giving us 0 0.477 we have log 1 plus the root of 5 is giving us 0 0.510 and we have log 2 to be given as 0 0.3010. So putting this into this equation, we have that x is equal to 0 0.3010 minus log 3, which is 0 0.477. Divide log 1 plus the root of 5 is 0 0.510 minus log 2, which is 0 0.3010. So x is equal to 0 0.3010 minus 0 0.477 is going to give us negative 0 0.17. Divide 0 0.510 minus 0 0.3010 is going to give us 0 0.21. And hence x is equal to minus 0 0.843. And this becomes the final answer for x right here. Alright guys, so we have been able to solve this question right here. So this is how you can easily solve this nice math algebra question right here. And we have the value of x to be equals to negative 0 0.843. And this becomes the final answer. So guys, I'm going to see you in the next video. And do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Mathematical Mindset.